So as you guys can see, I've worked for several online companies teaching English and so forth. It's mainly to adults. Uh, I have experience with kids, but minimally, not like little kids. So I decided to interview with VIP Kid and Magic Ears. And oh my god, I mean, <laughs> you can tell you're just a freaking number. Let's start with VIP Kid. <laughs> I interviewed with some quote-unquote mentor, trainer, whatever she's called. And to be honest, she looked like she didn't want to be there. I mean, she had a bitchy attitude. I was like, bitch? I mean, you're supposed to be teaching kids, right? I mean, damn. It, I mean, it was like, it was very obvious she didn't want to be there. Um, I don't know if I should put her name, but her name is Laura. And, uh, it was, it was not good. I'm like, oh, and I got a bad vibe from the moment I saw her smirking face. I'm like, oh, this bitch is like, uh, hell no. So, that was my experience with VIP Kid. Um, so, uh, apparently I passed the interview, but this was on um, one of the certifications and so forth. I mean, she was a real bitch. I was like, bitch? You don't like your job? Fuck, get out of here. Look for something else. But she really didn't seem like she liked kids, period. So, <laughs> I'm like, why is she still doing here? The second one was with Magic Ears. And I just interviewed with Magic Ears as well. And I got this guy from China who didn't really know how to speak English. And apparently he was my interviewer, mentor, trainee, whatever, trainer. Uh, he was very rude, he cut me off, he, another one who didn't want to be there, uh, he was, obviously he's not a teacher, so at least I don't think he is, because otherwise, he, that's another one that shouldn't be teaching kids with that attitude, but he was more interested in what his co-workers were doing, um, and what his co-workers wanted him to do, rather than paying attention to the training. He was not engaged, and I, I tried, but hey, he just was like, from the get-go, not there. He arrived late. Um, he did arrive on the dot at, you know, the time we recorded, but it, he was a few seconds late. My understanding is, you're supposed to set the example, you should be there on time, meaning maybe one or two minutes before class, because apparently that's Magic Ears philosophy, right? Enter the class at least two minutes before class, and that way you're ready, because if you enter on time or after that, you're considered late. Well, he was fucking late, and he cut the inter he cut that uh, training short. He wasn't engaged. He was more interested in going to lunch with his coworkers, girlfriend, whatever she was. And his name was Andrew, so I don't know what the fuck he's doing there. So that was my experience interviewing both with VIP Kid and Magic Ears. Apparently, with VIP Kid, I made the cut, but with Magic Ears, oh, no, I did not make the cut with his fucking attitude. <laughs> So, um, you know, Magic Ears, seriously, get someone who knows English because to have someone who doesn't really speak the language trying to coach you, really, he was not engaged. He was not present at the interview. So, that's my experience both with VIPK and Magic Ears. Let me know in the comments below what was your experience like. Do you work for them? Did you work interview for them? Do you, did you not pass or what happened in your interview was the interviewer nice or was she a fucking bitch like mine that vip kid and a fucking dick like mine that are magic ears so, <laughs> so anyways let me know in the comments below click on subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye